All right, so this video will show you how to use the HP Image Assistant um, to update all your drivers and make sure that your system is running correctly. Uh, so I'll just go to a normal Google page and I'm going to search for the HP Image Assistant. There we go. Um, and it's usually that first link that pops up. And then when you get here, we're going to download the software that we need to install. So we'll click on the download. Um, there we go, show in folder. And I usually just kind of drag the file to my desktop. And then we're going to open it. So once you get the little message about if you want uh, to allow the app to make changes, we just say yes. And we'll install the software. OK, um, so once it loads, we're going to leave these top settings alone. And we're just going to hit the blue Analyze button. Um, and basically what it does now is it's going to search our whole system um, and just check all of our drivers and everything and find all the files that we're missing or that maybe we need updated. Um, and this can take anywhere from, I don't know, maybe two to three minutes to 10 minutes or even more, I suppose. All right, so once it's done scanning your computer, um, you're going to get a screen that looks kind of like this. Um, we can maximize that. And you'll notice the health is poor. So um, what you're going to do is click on Recommendations. Um, and then up at the top, it's going to default to critical, um, but I'm going to go ahead and change it to all. Um, and then over here, it'll tell you how many updates it needs to it needs to do. So then you're going to click on the download button to do all of them. Um, and then when you get this ma message, we want to make sure that we check the box next to download soft packs, extract files, and install. Um, that way, it's just going to do the whole thing. It's going to download them, it's going to extract the files, and it's going to install them for us. So we'll click that, and we're going to click on Start. Um, and then it's going to start going through, and for each one of those downloads that it needs, so on this one it looks like it needs 19 of them, um, it's going to download each one, and then it will install them. Um, so this can take, this can definitely take a, a while. Um, and usually when this is done, we will need to restart. All right, so when it's done running that, um, you're going to get a report like this that will open up, um, and it's going to go through all the updates that it wanted to install. Um, and really, you're just looking at the status here to make sure that they all say pass. Um, on this one, they do all say pass. But sometimes you'll get one that'll say failed. Um, and then you might restart your computer and then try to run it one more time um, to see if you can get whatever failed to pass. Um, so after this is done, no matter what, even if your computer's not telling you to, um, I would always restart it. Um, and then sometimes if it needs to update the system BIOS, um, it'll run another little update and installation after it installs before it starts up. Um, so after you run this, I would always um, restart it. And then um, your computer should be running a little bit better and a little bit faster. Um, and this is something that you can run at any time. Uh, I try to run it at least once a month on my computers just to keep everything running smoothly. So hopefully that was helpful.